Hey guys, I've got another soldering video for you. And this time I'm installing the new Raspberry Pi Zero 2 into the old PS Pi version 4 board. That old board wasn't really designed for the Raspberry Pi to be removable. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my preferred way to remove the Raspberry Pi. I'm then going to remove the male header, install a female header, and finally install the stacking header into the Raspberry Pi. If you don't wanna make any modifications to your version 4 board, and you just want to swap to the new Pi Zero 2, all you'll need for this is some solder wick, some flux, and some low melt solder. If you do want to make the Pi removable in the same way it is on version 5 though, you're going to need two parts. The first is this stacking header or any other header with long pins on it, and the second part is this female header to replace the male header. Alright, let's start by removing the Pi from the old board. The first step is remove the excess solder from the pins using solder wick. And once most of the solder is removed, I'm going to replace it with low temp solder. Once that low temp solder is on the pins, you just need to heat the board a little bit to liquefy it. If you don't want to make the header modification, then at this point you can just install the Zero 2 where the old Pi Zero was. I just recommend thoroughly cleaning all the extra low temp solder off of the header pins because it will make your solder joints brittle. I'm making the header modification, so now it's time to remove the male header. I'm doing this in the exact same way as I did for the Pi removal, and I'm wicking away as much solder as I can and then adding low temp solder to the joint. And this doesn't have to be pretty, we'll clean it up afterward. And here's the board after everything is removed. I also went ahead and removed the pogo pins because they don't line up with the Pi Zero 2 board anyway. All right, so now I'm gonna install the new female header, but it needs one small modification first. The header has these two protrusions for alignment that need to be snipped flush. And once that's done, it'll fit perfectly. Go ahead and install the Pi Zero 2 and stacking header temporarily. We're gonna use them to align the header to get everything tacked in place. Now let's solder a couple of the header legs and lock things in place. Be careful here not to add too much solder because it'll try and wick up into the stacking header pins. Once that's done, remove the stacking header from the Raspberry Pi. Be careful here so you don't break the solder joints. Then remove the screws and the Pi Zero. Then solder the remaining pads. I totally wrecked that speaker connector there, so let's fix that. Now install the Pi Zero and the stacking header again. At this point, you can either solder the pins as they sit, and you'll just have to work around the header a bit, or you can snip the pins before soldering. 
If you want your pins to be perfectly straight, I recommend leaving the top portion while soldering and then cutting the pins afterward, but either way will work. I'm cutting them before soldering so that I can film the soldering process. If you do the same, just make sure you leave enough of the pin so you can solder to it. You can always cut off the excess later if the pin is too tall, but you can't add it back if you cut it too short. And let's solder everything in place. And there she is, all soldered up. And the pie is now removable. Just reinstall the FPC cable and install this back into the PSP shell. I wrote new drivers for the board, so now it works in the newest version of RetroPie. Not everything works perfectly yet, but it functions. I have a link in the description for the GitHub page which has all the code, and it also has torrent links if you want to download the pre-made images. All right, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and a special thanks to you guys supporting me on Patreon and Locals. Have a good one, guys.